Hey everybody, Andrew with AndroidCentral.com. We're here tonight in New York City with HTC and Sprint's latest venture, the Evo 4G LTE. Um, really attractive device. Um, while I'm here getting my grubby little paws on it, uh, Phil is over comparing it with his HTC One X. Um, this is Sprint's version of that device, um, of the HTC flagship, and um, it is a worthy successor to the Evo name. Um, so here you've got a 4.7 inch um, HD 720p display that's really, really vibrant and really, really attractive. Um, viewing angles are superb. Um, I really don't have any complaints about this display. And um, I know last year at my last event, I said it was the greatest screen I've ever seen. Well, um, this is up there. It seems like they're just getting better and better, which is great for all of us. Um, so moving on from the screen, you've got um, HTC Sense 4.0, um, which is really snappy, um, really intuitive, and I really like the changes they've made. Um, of course, you've got Ice Cream Sandwich, um, which, which it should have. So I'm glad to see that um, HTC is starting to ship with Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, but it's not the Ice Cream Sandwich you've come to know and love on devices like the Nexus. Um, this is very sensed up, um, and I don't have any complaints about that. I've always liked Sense, and um, I think you will too. Um, so just going through the interface, you see no slowdowns, um, no dragging, no stutters. Um, so hopefully this device is going to um, stand its ground. It's got, a quad, it's got a Snapdragon processor um, that we've seen, you know, you're either going to love it or hate it. Um, it's not the Tegra 3, um, but we've seen it outperform the Tegra 3, so I guess we'll just wait and see until we can put it through its paces. But for now, everything looks really snappy. I do want to take a quick look at the camera because um, HTC is really focusing on um, how great this camera really is. So let's launch it and um, see just the interface. Um, so you see it looks stunning on this display, really nice. And um, I'm gonna take a quick, a few quick shots here. And I don't know if you could hear that, but there is little to no shutter lag. This is a really snappy camera. And um, based on the presentation that Sprint and HTC just gave, um, this could be your daily driver camera. This could be the one that um, replaces your point and shoot, replaces your DSLR. I'm a little skeptical. Um, I like to carry around my camera. Um, but we'll see how this holds up. I'm anxious to see some sample shots. Now like I said, uh, Phil is comparing it with the HTC One X. So we'll be able to see if it's the same camera as on that device. And um, as we said, we were, we were impressed by that camera. Um, other than that, you've got Beats integrated throughout, which means that whether you're watching a video, listening to music, playing a game, um, you're going to be able to take advantage of that Beats um, technology, which, when I tested it on the HTC Resound, I absolutely adored it. I, I really think it's a, a great addition to any device, um, especially for somebody who uses their phone for listening to music. Um, I think you're going to enjoy the Beats. So let's take a look at the back of the phone. Hopefully it'll stay in focus. Um, yeah, so you see the camera kind of blends right in with that uh, glossy finish on top. Um, you've got this red accent here, which is the kickstand. Um, I don't know if I could get it off with one hand. Let's try. I don't want to break the, the phone. Just scratch it up. No, I can't get that. So, forget that. I'll take a picture. Uh, but anyways, you've got a soft touch finish on the bottom. Um, the kicks in, and then you go to the glossy uh, finish on top. Um, really nice. Really thin. You see how thin this is? It's, it's, it's really thin, and, and uh, take my word for it, it's extremely, extremely light. One of the lighter devices I've felt in a long time, so that's always fun, too. Um, you know, oh, one other thing that I noticed just quickly, um, this does have Google Wallet on it, you can see right there. Um, it's not going to focus, but it is Google Wallet, um, so hopefully it'll ship with that and um, nothing's changed and um, hopefully that's something to look forward to. Um, but really, I'm going to say the star of this phone is the display. Um, I'm really excited for the next generation displays, for these 720 displays and even better, so um, 
So I'm really excited about that. Um, not much more to say. We're going to put it through its paces when we get our review copy. And um, we'll be able to see exactly uh, how it holds up and how that processor is, is handling ice cream sandwich in Sense 4.0. But until then, um, this is just a quick look at the brand new HTC Evo 4G LTE. Coming from Sprint HTC, second quarter. And um, pre-orders start on May 7th for $199.99. Um, so until then, this is Andrew for AndroidCentral.com here in New York City with Evo 4G LTE.